Time travel has not yet been invented, but 30 years from now, it will have been. I am one of many specialized assassins in our present called loopers. So when criminal organizations in the future need someone gone, they zap them back to me, and I eliminate the target from the future. Oh la la. Loopers are well paid. We live a good life. Alright, Looper. Now, Looper, I've been waiting for. After reading the plot, I'm excited for it. Seeing the two stars, Joseph Gordon Levitt, love him. Great actor, loved him in 500 Years of Summer. Absolutely loved that film. Even more loved him in Dark Knight Rises. So, he's, he, he is such a good actor. Premium Rush, we can forget about that. Even though he did a good job in that, but. Premium Rush. But basically, it also stars a Bruce Willis. And, you know, Bruce Willis, the last time I saw him in the movie was Expendables 2. And he wasn't. He didn't have a big role in that, but he has a really big role. Now let's just talk about the plot of Looper. Basically, the plot of Looper in the year twenty forty, Joe, played by Joseph Gordon Levitt, he works for a group called Loopers. Now Loopers, they work for the mob, and they kill people. Are sent blindfolded, um, back in time from the year um twenty seven two, where time travel has been invented. Um, but one day he's waiting, um, you know, just to do his normal job. Then one day he recognizes the victim, which is himself. And then when he comes, he hesitates. He's like, oh, 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 oh cries myself. He hesitates. He runs off. So, yeah, that is the basic part of Looper. And there's a lot more things Now, going Looper, on. there's so much good in Looper. So much good. So let's just get into it. Looper is fantastically acted. The performances in this movie are just outstanding. I mean, I can't say anything bad about it. There's nothing bad about this. Um, the action when it's there, yes, when it's there, because, you know, there's not much action in this movie when it's there, it delivers. It's so entertaining, you're so focused on this movie, you're really invested in these characters, and when the action is there, it is highly, highly entertaining. Um, I was sucked in this movie, um, I could not take my eyes off this mo off the screen, and when a movie does that, well done to them. I was glued into this movie, if, like, someone was next to me going to tap, I was like, I wouldn't even, I wouldn't even notice that tap, because I'm so glued in on my eyes in this movie um looper is an amazing movie and looper is beautifully shot i mean there's nothing oh, this movie is shot so well i can't describe how well this movie is shot it looks glorious and i cannot wait to see what this movie will look like on blu-ray wow and you also also got that um the performance in this movie by joseph gordon ever as young joe is fantastic I've never seen a bad Joseph Gordon-Levitt movie. I really like him. He's over the years, he's just been outstanding. Um, um, Bruce Willis, wow, he was really, really well done in this movie. I've Bruce Willis really surprised me. I mean, it's Bruce Willis. Come on, he's a good actor and he really shined in this movie. Um, the comedic humor in this movie, there's uh, comedic humor in this movie, and when it's there, it's it's really funny. You chuckle and everything. It's really nice. Um, also. Um, Emily Blunt in this movie, and she's good. She's got this accent, this American accent going on. She's really good. You also got Jeff Daniels, who runs this um Looper business. He's basically sent from the um year 2072 back to um the um twenty forty two to run the whole Looper um mob the to hold the wrong to run the whole mob and he's really good in this movie, he's really well done and this direction of the movie, I forgot the director's name but he also directed Brick which also started Joseph Gordon-Levitt and so they they know each other so they work really well in this movie but if I had to get into the negatives which is only one um, if I had to say something someone say I'm gonna watch Looper right now is there anything bad in, in this movie I would have to say 
there isn't much to say about it but it just takes a little little long to to take where you want to go to this movie but that is not that's a little complaint you'll still enjoy that little ride there but that's just a little complaint but that's not going to stop you from seeing the movies that oh really i'm not watching no don't do that this movie is amazing and if i have to rate this movie out of five i have to give it five stars looper gets a five because this movie is well acted the, the story is just really well done. They use this time travel really well. They use it really well. Me. They don't just use it as an excuse to be a movie or just excuse to have time travel in this movie. No, it works really well in this movie. Acting, as I said, is outside. I just cannot get the acting. It's so, so good. Um, the, the way it's shot it was just really well done. The direction of this movie was really nice. The scenery was really nice. The way it was shot, the, the like um, when they were shooting, when they were um, doing, when he was shooting the movie, he did, he presented that year of 24, 24, 20, 42, Like it was really that year. You were really in that year. The, all the technology and everything. This movie was really well done. And I to the director, I feel, sorry, I forgot your name, but well done, man. You did a fantastic job of this movie. And it's a movie in September. You don't even get good movies in September, but Looper is the one for September to go check out and um so yeah I have no com that 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 was the only little complaint but do, do not that will not stop you from seeing this amazing truly amazing movie I'm give that's why as I already said I'm giving Looper a 5 out of 5 this is probably one of my favorite movies of this year this will definitely be in my top 10 or top 5 movies of this year so yeah that is my review of Looper and Looper gets yeah a 5 out of 5 a well deserved 5 out of 5. Wow, Looper, I'm definitely gonna go watch this movie again. And when it does come out on Blu ray, I am definitely picking it up. So, yeah, that's my review of Looper. And Looper, of course, just need to keep saying it gets 5 out of 5. And yeah, that's my review of Looper. And I'm um, stay tuned for more movie reviews. Bye.